England still has a big problem when it comes to institutional racism, and this can impact all aspects of people's lives. Even from birth, there is evidence of inequality. The infant mortality rate is twice as high for people from black and minority ethnic backgrounds, and black people in particular have very high rates of infant deaths. Meanwhile, only Asian children are less likely than white children to be in care. Children from ethnicities classed as other, such as Chinese or Arab children, are the most likely to be looked after by their local council. These inequalities continue later on in life. Even though, in general, people from BME backgrounds are more likely to get good GCSEs and then go on to get a university degree or equivalent, this doesn't translate into jobs. People from black and minority ethnic backgrounds are twice as likely to be unemployed as white people, with black people seeing the highest rates of unemployment. Even once they are unemployed, BME people are paid less than white people on average. Black people are paid the least. Black and minority ethnic households are also nearly five times as likely to be homeless as white households, with black people seeing the highest rates of homelessness. BME people are nearly three times more likely to be stopped and searched by police, with black people the biggest target. You're also more than twice as likely to be in prison if you're from a black or minority ethnic background, with black people by far and away the most likely to be locked up. These are just a few of the ways in which institutional racism is affecting people. To find out more, use our interactive to see the figures for your local area.